Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a quick color overview of the Toast Be Eco For You. Um, I grabbed some of my similarly uh, colored Ecos to the Toast Be Eco Persian Green. Um, and let's just go look at it. Let's look how similar they are or how different they are. All right, let's switch a shot. All right, here we are with a bunch of different Twisbees and now we are focusing on the Persian Green, which is right here. Um, but I wanted to grab some similarly colored Twisbees. Now, I realized Twisbees has, Twisby has made like a couple of uh, minty, greeny uh, type Twisby Egos and um, I put some right here. Now, this is the Glow Green. I would say this is the one that's least like it. Um, it is definitely more green leaning than the other ones, um, but I thought I would grab it so you can just see how it's different. Now, this is the turquoise, which was, I believe, one of the earlier limited editions, which is fairly similar to it, but it is definitely more um, blue than green, um, and it's less dusty, so I would say the Persian green is definitely a little more dusty. And then we have two lighter colors. We have the Jade Eco, which is one of my favorites, like this Eco is stolen my heart. It's very pretty, um, but they are definitely lighter. So the turquoise is definitely the closest. Um, I would say if you like a more dusty finish, the Persian green is definitely for you. However, the Persian green, I would say it's not like a full green green. Um, it definitely has a little bit of blue in there. Um, but they're both really nice. I enjoy all these colors. Now, the Twisby Persian green is a dusty sort of green blue eco um it is not really very green um it really is more of a dusty i would say it's a sagey color right it's like sage now it doesn't lean super blue as you can see it definitely leans more green but it also isn't like what you think of when you say green um like when i say green i think of the ink in here which is definitely green um, it's hard to see right now, but as you can see, that's definitely a green ink. I don't think of this dusty, sagey color. It doesn't mean I don't like it. I actually like it more like this. It's a very lovely color. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I would say it's a very unique color, especially when you look at it next to the turquoise. It's nice, but not the most unique finish they've ever done. Um, again, it has the same parts as all the Ecos. I just like showing you guys the comparison with the other colors that I have so you can make an informed decision. Red Finial, still don't love it on the colored pens. It doesn't clash too much on this Eco, I would say. Um, like with the Jade, I, I really don't love it with the Jade. Um, but I wish they would change it because it's such an easy change to make and even if they make it clear, it will class up the pen a lot. Um, we have cap band that says Twisby and Eco um, and Taiwan. It is the same pen as it always is. The clip, it works. It's quite tight, but I would not hesitate to use it. And again, it is a piston filler. Now, I am going to do a writing sample for you guys. I got a medium nib, I believe, um, and it's a good writer. It's not my favorite, but also not my least favorite Twisby nib that I have. Um, it is just the standard experience. So if you want a different experience, don't get this pen. Um, but if you love the Eco and love this color, definitely get this pen. All right, Twisby Eco medium, but honestly, sometimes this looks more like a broad than a medium. Um, the nib size is kind of inconsistent. I just threw something on the floor. All right, this is a Franklin Kristoff ink and it's the Elena Pincho ink. And that is what I would call actually green. Um, this pen is a decent writer. I'm trying to zoom out. It's a decent writer. Um, it could be a workhorse for anyone who likes piston fillers. Um, it is a Twisby Eco. Um, and that's 
about all I can say about it. I might not continue doing Twisby Eco videos or just do short form, like a short actually on these pens because I feel like I've said all that I can say about the Twisby Eco. If you like Ecos, you'll probably like this pen. If you haven't used an Eco and you like the color, try it out. It is definitely bang for your buck still. But yeah, it's just a Twisby Eco and that's all I can say. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this color comparison because that is more what it is than actually a review. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.